Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I start a level 20 base at level 8. I'll show you how you can easily do this too. I did this in 5 hours, so you can do it in 1. Challenge accepted. Wait! Before you storm the base, there are a few things that you have to take care of first. Like cook some food, crafting ammo, getting some health. And then I went to all the Saturn II grounds that I could find just to collect any last minute skill points. By doing this, I think I found a little over 10 skill points. And then I invested those 10 skill points. I invested in Larger Healing Pouch 1 and 2, Tactical Awareness, Extra Ammo 1, and Well Prepared. I also invested in Shadow Hunter, Light Footed 1 and 2, and Lethal Stalker. My weapons of choice were a 50 damage heavy bow, a staff sling, a 120 damage shotgun, and a 92 damage spear thrower. To get to the base, fly on your Ekron. You can even fast travel to an area close by, such as the Navi camp over gentle water. The outside of the base is completely surrounded by auto rocket launchers that shoot missiles at you. So when flying, make sure to constantly move and do not travel in a straight line. What's cool though, is that you'll notice a red orb appear in the sky just before the missile explodes. Pay attention to this. This is helpful because it lets you know where the next explosion is about to happen. So essentially all you have to do is avoid the red orbs. Don't worry about where to land your Ekron within the base. For now, fly to a high point within the base and just get yourself safe and out of sight. Okay, now that we're safe, we have to get down from here and make our way to this point here. When you jump down though, you'll notice there are no enemies patrolling the outside of these buildings. They're only patrolling the outside perimeter of the base and the inside of the base that we have to infiltrate. If you actually use your Navi senses, you'll see helicopters in your Navi senses. You want to go to the helicopters that will help you to get to the main entrance. If you come across any auto turrets, while you're running to this point, just have your SID ready to go, sneak up on it. The auto turret pans only so far, so as long as you're not within its view, you can hack it and turn it off with your SID. Just beware that it's temporary, um, it will turn back on. I love the footage of me running from the helicopters to the main entrance for those of you who wanted to see it in case you get lost. But basically when you're standing behind the helicopter, facing the helicopter, you take a left and you run straight and you get to this corner right here where the two walls of the base meet and then you jump down and the main entrance is down from where you jump. I would advise to hack and turn off a couple of these turrets though that are closest to the main entrance because you don't want any chance that they could spot you. I know what you're thinking. This place is intimidating, it is scary, we're a low level, what the hell are we getting ourselves into? I thought the same exact thing, especially doing a solo run, but I quickly realized that each objective is located in its own room within the building, and each room is a puzzle that you have to figure out and solve. 
So as long as you solve each puzzle in each room, honestly, it's a walk in the park. You got this. When you jump down at this point, turn around immediately and the main entrance is right there waiting for you. I apologize for the abrupt cut. It's because I did not look behind me and I ran around the entire perimeter of the building before I realized that I was already at the main entrance. Once you walk through the front door, you're going to take an immediate right and walk straight. You're going to see yellow pipes. You're going to walk straight on those yellow pipes. When the yellow pipes end, you will jump onto this bridge right here and you will just follow it. Make sure to be crouched the entire time. Now go down this chain, stay crouched and on your left, grab the duty rosters. Congratulations, you made it to room one, puzzle one. Use your Navi senses, tag the enemies, learn their walking patterns. Our objective is on the right when the RDA and the exoskeleton walks towards the left and away from the terminal, that's when you're going to crouch and make your way to the terminal to hack it. Hacking this terminal does not cause panic in the room. Our new objective is on the right hand side and that's to hack the cargo trench control console. So breathe, relax, you have not been spotted yet. Use these yellow pipes, jump up and use height to your advantage. Stay up here as long as you need, collect yourself, use your Navi senses, regroup and figure out the walking patterns of the RDA again. When the RDA in the exoskeleton was closest to the terminal that we just hacked, that's when I jumped behind this vehicle right here and I just waited for him to walk away from that terminal we hacked and I went behind him. You're going to use this chain right here to go up and immediately to the right is where you crawl through. And don't worry, because if you pissed off the enemies, they cannot follow you through the hole. Congratulations, puzzle one complete. See, what did I tell you? That was a walk in the park. Anyway, on to room two, puzzle two. There are two entrances, one on the right, one on the left. I chose the one on the right. You do you, Bill. When you make it through the entrance, I would just take a moment to stay crouched maybe eat some food, craft ammo, tag all the enemies. You don't necessarily have to learn their walking patterns just yet because you're not in the final spot, but you do wanna take note of where the control console is that we have to hack. And as you can see, I went through the right hand side and on the right hand side of the room are these yellow pipes that you can just continue to follow and it will essentially just take you right to the control console. As you approach the control console, that's where you're gonna stay put and learn the walking patterns of the RDA using your Navi senses. You're going to see a hole at the top of the room that has the control console in it. From here, you're going to jump, then you're going to crouch, stay put for a moment while you're crouched, find your escape route, and then use your SID to hack the control console. It's about to go down. The escape route that I used was the same way that we came in. So I turn around, jump, jump, go immediately to the right, and this yellow beam right here is where I crouch and I hide. Now don't worry though, I know the next objective says survive the cargo trench counterattack. You don't actually have to wait for them to attack you. You just 
hide until you feel like it's safe enough to continue crouching and walking. So I apparently felt like it was safe enough. So I just continued walking straight and there's this bridge right here. You jump on the bridge, you crouch and walk straight on the bridge until you can't walk straight no more. When you have reached the end of the bridge, you're going to hop down on the right hand side and enter through the gas facility doors. Congratulations, you've just completed room two puzzle two. See how this is going? We have finally made it to the gas pipeline control room. All we have to do is hack that terminal over there. Don't worry, no enemies ever come in this control room, so you're free to eat some food, craft more ammo, and grab some of those health pouches hanging on the wall over there. After you hack the pipeline control console, you're going to stay put, stay crouched, and wait for the window to open in front of you. Do not leave this window. As soon as you leave, the window will shut and a level 20 pyromaniac RDA and an exoskeleton with a big ass shield will emerge. My strategy was to stay in this window, stay put, stay crouched, have my spear equipped, and I took out these RDA soldiers one by one. I waited for them to come to me. Think you've killed them all? Psych! As soon as you take out the last RDA soldier that you're aware of, a few more emerge from the depths of the room. Fear not, you just repeat the steps. Now that I've taken out the last RDA soldier for real this time, I suppose it's time for me to walk out of this window. And here comes the level 20 pyromaniac. I would like to mention that right here, as you're crouching, if you use your Navi senses, you can see on the right hand side of this RDA is a box and if you click on your middle mouse wheel you read that the box is a rocket launcher however be advised the rocket launcher only has three missiles it does not completely kill the level 20 rda and you can't keep it equipped you can only carry it use it and drop it you can't keep it on your person for a later time 
Also, what's really helpful is on the left is this lower level that you can drop down into. And the pyromaniac, even if she spots you, if you jump down into this lower level, she does not follow you and she cannot find you. So use it to your advantage. Now we have to shoot the second gas pipeline shutoff valve. Before you shoot, just make sure you have an escape route planned out in your head. I thought I could be stealthy and avoid this pyromaniac behind this cargo box, but who am I kidding? She found me. But that way I'm able to demonstrate to you that I wasn't kidding when I said that if you jump down in here, she can't find you. There's also some health down here, so be sure to grab them. Even though this isn't the opening I initially jumped into, I chose this opening to jump out of because not only was the RDA waiting for me on the opposite side, but you have to be on this side of the room to shut off that third gas pipeline valve. You'll see in the footage that I was tempted by the rocket launcher, but I advise you against it. It is not worth it. It barely scratches her. And every time you play peekaboo with her, she just spurts you with fire, injures you, and you just exhaust your resources anyway. Because we are at such a low level, it is not worth exhausting our resources. Save them for the next two rooms. I swear, this room is your best friend in this puzzle. So to get to the slag pit, you want to go to the furthest corner or the furthest point in this room that is directly under the stairwell. To get to the slag pit, we need to go on the stairwell, climb the stairs, and go through the tunnel. The hardest part of this entire quest is patience. It is real life patience. I had no idea what to expect when storming this base. All I knew is that I had to be stealthy. I had no idea where to go. I had no idea what to do. This quest took me five hours in real life. So I truly hope that this walkthrough is helping you to stealthily make your way through this whole base and to successfully beat this quest, whether you are already level 20 or a lower level like me. When you get to this half room before the next puzzle room, you don't have to jump down here like I did. It just has a few supplies for you to collect. But what you do need to do is jump up on the yellow pipes on the left side of the room and crawl through the vent. Then you want to smash this vent. And welcome to puzzle room four. You might have noticed that I just made an abrupt cut, and I do apologize, I might have died a few times. What I have come to learn is that equipping my heavy bow with just a few fire arrows really helped me out. Remember, height is your advantage. While you're up on this platform, crouch, Use your Navi senses, tag all the enemies, and one by one, take out the RDA soldiers that are not in the exoskeletons. Until all that remain are the three RDA in exoskeleton suits.
Our next objective is on the right side of the room and it's to hack the gas control terminal. While staying on this bridge, take a left and walk straight. You'll want to go down this chain and this chain and take an immediate left and go out that door. Remember to stay crouched the entire time. So within this big open room, we are on the left edge. The three RDA are to the right of us, and we are staying as close to the left edge as possible. Even this RDA doesn't even notice us. Jump up onto this slab and jump up onto the roof. Follow the pipes around the corner. When you reach the end of the pipes, you're going to jump down on the right, but stick to the left side. Where I'm looking right now is where we're going to shoot the valve, and below that is where we're going to escape. On the left side right here, you'll notice a big door that RDA soldiers will storm out of once we hack the terminal. So don't even go in this room all the way. Stand in the doorway. Stand in the doorway, hack the terminal, shoot the valve, and run into the tunnel below the valve. Don't worry, the enemies won't follow you. Congratulations! Room 4, Puzzle 4, complete. The final puzzle, final room, hardest room, is the smelting unit coming up ahead.
When you get to this point right here, don't walk in the big puddle of water because of the electricity. Walk around the puddle of water and run as fast as you can so you don't get injured. Once you've made it here, you've made it to the smelting unit. All you have to do is hack the door to unlock it. Don't worry, as of right now, there are no enemies in there. So take your time, regroup, craft ammo, eat food, and do what you need to do. Before you damage the laser's lens, I advise you to walk the perimeter of the room before the enemies come out and learn the layout. When you're ready to rock and roll, you're going to jump up on this light right here. This is the best starting spot. You're going to aim your gun at the lens, shoot it, it will be damaged. Then you're going to wait a few seconds. When the new prompt populates, you're going to shut these two valves on the right and the left. Now you're going to jump down on the left, go up the left ramp, and hide in the left laser beam tunnel. And then you're going to point your gun at the lens of the laser to damage it yet again. While staying crouched, use your Navi senses to highlight and tag all of the enemies. Now these next few steps are a little bit challenging if you're not careful. When the RDA soldiers are at a safe enough distance, you're going to jump out the left window and you're going to make your way to this left wall and at the top of the wall are three valves that you're going to open. The laser will continuously run from left to right. It will not stop and it will damage your health. So open one valve at a time, hop back down, crouch, and wait for your health to regenerate. Then repeat the process two more times for the other two valves. When you hop down the wall and you're facing the wall, on the left is where that shut off valve is that you have to shoot. I'm going to retrace my steps and hop into that left laser beam tunnel that we were originally in. I'm going to crouch in there and hide. That's also going to set you up for success to damage the laser's lens okay. yet again. Now we have to rinse and repeat, and we have to open the right side's three emergency pipeline valves. When the RDA are at a safe enough distance away, you're going to jump out that right window, make your way to the right side of the room. Go up the right ramp, and if you need to, you can hide in the right 
laser beam tunnel. When you're ready, you're gonna make your way on over to the right wall over here, and you're gonna do the same thing as last time. You're going to open the valves one by one. The laser beam will not stop. It will cut left or right. It will damage you. When you open this final valve, you are going to hop down the wall, and when you're facing the wall, take an immediate right and the valve is right there. Aim your gun, shoot! Then I yeeted out of there, retraced my steps, and went back to the right hand side tunnel to shoot the lens of the laser beam one last time. I'm not quite sure why my gun was having a hard time locking on to the laser lens. Maybe because it's moving so fast. I don't know. The shots I did take apparently missed. So I whipped out my staff sling and I threw some grenades at it and that did the trick. And congratulations, you've completed the final puzzle. See what I tell you, a walk in the park. Now get your and get out. In this final footage, I will show you a secret hiding spot in case you need to use it. We are on the left laser beam tunnel. When you are on top of the left laser beam tunnel and you are looking at the left emergency pipeline valves, there is a pipe. You jump onto the pipe and you slide into the corner and no one can see you. Whether you're already at level 20 or a lower level like me, I hope this walkthrough helped you to complete the laser ore processor alpha quest. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye.